In the back of the machine, you have the on and off switch. This is a resettable switch, uh, just in case you have any issues there. Also, um, a little bit to the middle lower section, you have the inlet for the water. Uh, this is the one we recommend. Uh, we should get it at Home Depot. Uh, you hit uh, three quarters uh, by uh, a quarter inch. Now, the three quarters is the measurement that you have here. Uh, the quarter inch, it depends on what's available at your location. So um, for that, you gotta either visit the location or ask the location what's the uh, size of the hose you have. This is one of the most common ones, but um, it could be any other. Each machine comes with a resettable GFCI for protection. This is the exhaust of the machine. Uh, it prevents clogging uh, the steam that comes out when it's brewing a, a cup. So you gotta make sure they keep that clear. The G235 consists of 18 selections. You have your sugar button, your no sugar button, no cup, and your refund button. Here you have your coin chute for inserting coins. Uh, you have your bill validator, and in some cases you can, uh, optional, you can add a credit card reader. You have your lock. You have the cup pickup. This is where people grab the cup and this is where the change comes out. In the back of the door, you have your bill validator, your stacker, um, you have your USB port. Um, here are where the labels are for your uh, selection. Programming button. Um, this is where the coins, this is the coin chute, the slide in. This is the chute where people get the change. Uh, you have your lock mechanism, and if you notice in the back, this is the uh, this is a slow downwards for the when people pull their coffee out. Here you have your deck port, basically uh, for communication. Door switch. This will be the one that lets the uh, machine know that the door has been shut. Inside the machine, on the top, you have a lid. This lid is basically, it makes it easier to lower your product. Um, you have your cup dispenser. Um, to the left of it, you have your sugar canister. This cup dispenser, it pops open like that. Super easy, there's no clips or anything like that. Um, basically on the cup dispenser, just, uh, you have up to five, uh, up to 250 cups, your coin changer. This will be your overload coin bucket. This is where the coins fall through when the coin mechanism is full. This will be your coin refund motor. So this motor basically, it, 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 once it hits the uh, the coin mechanism, it gives you a refund. So when it's full, then it goes in here. Then you have your canisters. Basically you have your coffee beans, chocolate, milk, vanilla, hazelnut. Now these are adjustable, so they're configurable. Um, they can also be extended for more capacity. Um, and here you have your nostrils for the chocolate. Just notice that this one is only the two of them going to one chocolate and creamer. Also, here you have your bowls for mixing, the mixing bowls. Your dozer behind the dozer, that's the grinder. That's the, uh, the black piece looking like. Uh, the grinder is self adjustable, um, manually adjusted as well. So, uh, then we have the irrigation system. This is basically the one that takes care of the brewing or the brewer. Um, here you have your tray hose. Basically the, the mixing bowls then goes through the hoses and then it comes out to the cup. This is the uh, product grip. It's where the cup uh, gets pulled out of. Uh, and then underneath you have a tray for where the residual water goes into, into the bucket. 
the bottom of the machine you have your, your coffee ground waste, the residual water. This one comes with an overflow uh, mechanism. It's basically a float that when it hits the switch, it stops it from, um, from servicing uh, to avoid any overflow. Uh, and in this case, this machine has a five water, five gallon water jug. Um, in the case you don't have any hookup for water lines of the location. That's an optional uh, feature for the machine.